Banned from ringside. Banged up. <laughs> Ditch that 9 to 5, it's time to feel alive. Welcome back to uh, BFR Banged Up is what we call these segments. Today we're going through all the iconic Stone Cold Steve Austin segments. And what we're doing right now, what we're about to do right now, could be included on the Monday Night Wars, the best of segment. It could be included on Mankind's best of segment. But this is when Mankind... First one, or I mean, Mick Foley won his first WWE championship. Um, Tape delay WWE uh, championship win. Tape delay, and this is the famous one where Tony Schiavone infamously, so they were pre-taped, and it was when Nitro was beating Raw for consistently, consistently for Eight, years, years, Eight, right? Three yeah. weeks or something Couple like years. that, and. Um, Tony Schiavone infamously said, uh, if you're going to turn over, if you were thinking about turning over to Raw, uh, Mick Foley just won the championship over there. Oh, yeah, that'll put some butts in the seats. And, and everybody turned to <laughs> Raw to watch that happen. And everybody turned to Raw. And it's, it's infamous because it was the turning point when Raw finally started destroying WCW. It was the end of WCW, basically. And... Uh, it also kind of speaks to how well liked Mick Foley was, who for was sure. with WCW for a long time as Cactus Jack over yeah. there, and um, Wars with Van Vader were amazing. So this is Mick Foley, or this is Mankind versus The Rock. The Rock was the heel, Mankind was the face. Uh, the Rock was the corporate champion at the time. He aligned himself with uh, Mr. McMahon. The, the turn on uh, Survivor Series here in the STL. That was nice. I was here, there. <laughs> that, of course, you were there. Right? Was there. <laughs> so, he went for uh, his thirty seventh birthday. <laughs> <laughs> he looked exactly how he did now, except maybe with like a high fade. But maybe, maybe some hair at that point. Have you ever seen this like picture? Play. Have you ever seen a picture of JCB with a high fade? No. Oh, I, rec- oh. I recommend it. Yeah, were you in Kid and Play? I had a Kid and Play. <laughs> so. Um, Austin comes out. It's it's a big schmoz. I mean, I guess it was a no DQ match. Yeah, I don't because know. you got guys r- around the ring. I, I was going to say, Murray, yeah, we're you, can talk, ahead, we're, yeah, you can go ahead yeah, and start. Yeah, you can go ahead and play it, Murray. So you want me to start with Bedpan McMahon, or are we going to the... Uh, we can't do Bedpan McMahon because what the fuck, we couldn't though? find a Bedpan in St. Louis. This is why we have 36 Twitter followers. Apparently, it's still the same day. I have 92, <laughs> I have 92 Twitter followers. Hashtag follow BFR Bill. You know what? Just don't at this point. Just fuck it. Like, I don't even fucking care. All right. So this is when The Rock used to put cheese on his eggs. He's a little bit bigger here. So uh, he, uh, Mankind and The Rock are outside the ring, and Mankind looks like he's trying to bite, bite? him right now. Yeah, I was going to say it. I'm not sure what he's doing to try to bite The Rock through that mask, but They're that's another story shirts. for another time. It is fairly unbelievable I mean, looking at Rocky back here, this is 1999, that almost 20 years on, The Rock is basically the, the biggest movie star in the world. He is. 20, 20 years after. <laughs> like, damn. I mean, he was, he was playing the long game, but, I mean, right now The Rock's wearing a shirt because it's like, you know, when a fat kid gets in the pool and he's still wearing a T-shirt. Stop. That's what I'll say, that's still the baby fat, man. I was going to say, he'll get over that. Still the baby fat. He was 30 years old. <laughs> McMahon's outside the ring with Shane and a ref. Kane is uh, outside the ring. Kane's I, outside the ring. I was going to say, I think I see uh, Ken Shamrock. Speaking of baby fat, Shane's so baby faced. This is before Shane had to shave, looks like. Uh, yeah. Earl Hebner's the ref. Uh, that looked kind of nasty right there. Yeah, right? Uh, ring stare steps. On, top of the sti- oh, no, uh, on top of his head and then slamming the other. The, the second, I guess, steps on top of the uh, the one that's on Mankind's head. I mean, Here you go. One of these days, it'd be nice to do a, man, or a Mick Foley. Best of also, just because Mick Foley, I feel like, <laughs> I feel like he, he doesn't, <laughs> I feel like uh, Mick Foley kind of gets short shrifted these days when you talk about greatest of all time. I mean, yeah, especially all that he gave, like putting his body on the line and, uh, you know, he was super over, never really held the title for a long time. I mean, even here he won it, but I mean, he lost it like maybe Fairly a quickly. month, like if that. 
I'm wondering if Murray That's my, had Mr. Sacco oh, or if he made the, it for tonight. The Rock puts on Michael but, Cole's headset. One of my favorite Rock gimmicks is when, in the middle of the match, he decides he's going to do commentary. This oh. is why I love The Rock right here. I mean, one of the many reasons, but this is a big reason. <laughs> uh, Takes a drink of bottle of water. Waller, Waller's out him. there wearing a jacket with tassels on it. Look. That's Let's that's see. what he did. That was the king at the time. Yeah, this is. I mean, crown and all. Lawler uh, always looks better with a crown. He's never had a good haircut. My favorite. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like a Lego piece. <laughs> it looks like one of those little brown, like parted hair now Lego mankind's pieces. Mankind's got the headset on. There you go. Uh, see, that's no. That's what you're supposed to do. Make fun of the I rock. Mean, so if this is 19 years ago. Michael Cole. Is that? Whew. Michael Cole is doing backstage. Uh, he's right, actually he's right there. Uh, he was doing some what, what my babe, announcing. Favorite backstage game was with Rock and Michael. You know Cole. how Michael Cole started his career? He was in. Uh, he was a war reporter for Desert Desert Storm. He's really taken off since then. <laughs> like he was, he was an actual journalist. <laughs> what the fuck is he doing at WWE? <laughs> Making money. Making yeah, money. Yeah, yeah, not point. getting shot in the head. Yeah. Good point. Good point. I, I get. Okay. All right. Yeah. Now Rock's got mankind on top of the announcer table. Rock bottom. Oh, that was brutal. God, damn, that oh. was brutal. Even McMahon's <laughs> wishes. <laughs> Even McMahon. This, okay, now this is more of the Vince McMahon that we know. The evil corporate genius running the total show of Raw. I'm sure if you run back and watch this whole Raw, it starts with Vince. Obviously, it's going to end with Vince and... At Rock and Mankind. It's important to note that today we're doing Stone Cold Steve Austin, but after we just talked about how great the stunner is as a finisher, the Rock Bottom is also a great finisher. Going it's up through there. a table, it's even better. I mean, it's an enziguri with some flair, you know. True. You know what's interesting about the Rock and Austin is that neither one of them ever went to the top rope, I don't think. I mean, The Rock never even went to the middle rope. Like, Austin used to go to the middle rope and do, like, an elbow drop. Yeah. Now, early Rocky Maivia. Or not Maya an elbow via, drop, but, like, a... a that was the early Rocky Maivia thing. He used to fly up, a little yeah. bit. I think he did a, a cross body, body from block, the top. Yeah, something like that. But From the top? I think so. Early. Very early. When he had the hair. When he had the hair. Yeah. 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 And the, uh, when the he was, like, happy-go-lucky. God happy bless. Happy-go-lucky, yeah. Rocky Maivia. I'm just happy to oh, be here. Oh, Shane getting in a little bit. in the re- Why is Shane wearing a ref? Because I'm sure, I'm sure he's like the second at this, referee. At this time, he was actually a ref because that was actually how like Vince introduced him into the business. He was uh, he did some backstage interviews and he he refed. Now what what's about to happen here? Now Earl Hebner is the actual ref of the match. My favorite ref of all time, Earl Hebner. What's about to happen here is Stone Cold. The glass is going to break that's for what, Stone Cold's music, and that's the cue for for my money. The biggest pop I've ever seen from a crowd. It's it's very huge, and the fact that the match itself starts to propel out of control, the chaos ensues inside and outside of the ring. The fans get into it, and then, like you said, the the cherry on top of the cake is when now the rock Austin going comes for the rock out. Bottom. Play, I mean, this is when fans were hyped. This is not some. This is not some raw. In December 2018. <laughs> People's elbow. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Whatever this was before he did it was rocks, amazing. Shamrock's out there. Who is, who's the guy with the sunglasses? Big Boss Man's Boss out Man's there. Out there. Yeah, I was going to say. Oh, dude. that's Test. Ray Trailer. R.I.P. Test Billy is Gunn. out there. Billy Gunn. Road Dog. Triple H. He's going for another rock bottom. Like, if you... We would not be mistaken to think this was a lumberjack match with all of the people that are. Yeah, I was going to say it's a lumberjack this might match be with when, this the might corporation be when, as the lumberjacks. This might be when Test was still banging Stephanie. Very possible. At K K style. Uh, shoot style, I think. Huh? Nothing. Oh, Rock hits Rock Mankind with the belt. It's a big boss, man. Big boss. So this so should be it. One, no. two, and of course the kick out. Because he's Mick Foley. Takes more than uh, that to put him down. Xbox out there, the one, two, three kid. Okay, never mind. I guess this isn't all corporation. Corporation is on the big man side of the ring. DX is now the faces at this point. Dirty mankind, Deeds. Mankind. Mankind. Dirty Deeds them on the belt. 
He kicked the belt out of the way first. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Nothing to see here, people. <laughs> the rock, the rock had, the rock was keeping an eye on him. Yeah, there. His, he had his Where eyes he, open. Wherever yeah. Tinder Mahal is, is probably rolling now, over in his grave. Now maybe the rock was keeping an eye on Heather there because it was so fucking loud at the time. I mean that yeah. place is going nuts. That place is into this. He match. might have needed the visual. That place is there to watch Mick Foley win his first WWE Championship or whatever it was called at the time. Back whenever people actually hated heels, right? Hashtag boo, boo the, the fucking, fucking heels. heels, guys. All right, so mankind's got sock, got Mr. Socko. I mean, the fact that oh, Kevin Shamrock with Shane the, Rock the chair shot. Here comes Billy Gunn, and now here comes the chaos ah, the ensuing. Place is going, places, places hype. DX basically firing off the corporation. Right, came for whatever. Oh, oh there and now, is. Okay, now if you watch, we uh, couldn't this, even hear it. Austin comes out with a camo hat. Looking like my wife's uncle. <laughs> Lost, barely, barely, barely running shirt. to the ring. Barely running. To, wearing jeans. He really does look like my wife's uncle. Bam! Oh, chair oh, shot. Unprotected rock. chair shot to the head for the Rock. Earl Hebner, never the wiser. Just seeing Stone One, Cold get out the ring. Two, three, and that'll put some butts in the seats, guys. Right. And it changes the course. McMahon can't believe it. Son of a bitch. Yeah, uh, just rewind it just a little bit. I want to see that pop one more time. You watch this crowd. The crowd really he gets it, guys. Rops. How does Austin not go out there just like a fucking Greek column, just rock hard? Like, <laughs> all those reactions. Full on Dupree. Yeah, full on Dupree. Full on Dupree. I'm kidding. That's why, probably why he was walking down the ring instead of running down the ring. <laughs> full on Dupree. You just can't run with that you can't shit. Run with you can't run with the saying You got to take your time, man. Let so, some of that bro- blood yeah, come back to the head. That man, that's a that's a pop. Guys. That's a huge pop, man. Just for a just for an old just man the with a of goatee it. and a jeans tucked. He's got his shirt tucked in, guys. He that's does. how over he was. <laughs> that's how over he was. He could tuck his t-shirt into his jeans. Unprotected <laughs> chair shot. Honestly, that motherfucker was wearing a fanny pack half the time he came out. (laughs) (laughs) History's made in the more words of Gorilla Bond 2. McMahon is beside himself. He's so mad. Austin comes down just to talk to him. Oh, no. Here's the, yeah, I'm going to throw the hat at you, too. (laughs) Throw the camo hat at him. McMahon is furious. Ruining my plans. This is where Vince McMahon is Vince McMahon. Classic Vince. Over the top. Look at him. He is inconsolable at this point. I don't remember that shirt. That's the one Austin shirt I don't remember. I I was getting ready to say, the only time I even remember it is when I see stuff like this. Outside of that, they've all been short sleeve shirts. Looking back on it, I must have had eight fucking Stone Cold shirts. Because like, he'll wear them and I'll be like, fingers. oh, I've got that shirt. Double, oh, middle, that double shirt. middle fingers to, uh, to McMahon. You know, if this happened today, we would probably... <laughs> bitch about how winning the championship wasn't about the guy who won the championship, but it was about the angle that happened outside of it. And all the interference. And yeah. I, I, Murray is giving me a face like he disagrees, but I... It's I, only because of his build, because of mankind's build-up to that point. Yes. They, nobody's really being built up like that. No, and I just... And it's an it's underdog so, story. And, America loves the underdog. And he, but to get over, we would probably be bitching today to get over for mankind to get over. He needed Austin, and we we would probably we might bitch about that. I mean, we, I could see me bitching about it. Yeah, exactly. I could see me bitching about it about it not, not being about the guy who deserved it. Mick Foley deserved it at the time, but like being handed the belt, like whenever KO was handed the belt, you know. He should have got on his own merits, but Triple H handed him the title. It also, I mean, it's also at the height of the Attitude Era, though, obviously. I mean, like we talked about, this was a turning point for the Monday Night and that, Wars. And that's the thing. A lot of people these days, especially right now, want to fucking complain they want the Attitude Era back. Nobody wants the Attitude Era back. All you motherfuckers that say you do, you do not, because there was a lot of terrible shit, <laughs> and every everybody that's bitching about I mean, the non Drake Maverick stuff. Drake pissing on Bobby Roode. That's Attitude Era. That's Attitude Era. Yeah, that's right. that is era. Attitude Era. Every, and so, like, Vince keeps doing these things. All the things that we're complaining about are pretty much Attitude Era, except there's no stars, because Vince will make the stars. I was going to say, except there's no Stone Cold. Yeah. yeah, I mean, yeah, there's no stars. There's no Stone Cold. There's no... 
uh, The Rock. Well, there there's are no, stars, uh, but some of those no stars Steven are gone. There's no Stephen Richards. People are getting, <laughs> <laughs> yes. Fuck People are getting <laughs> mad that they put Natalia's dad on a table, a picture of him. Fucking Undertaker, or Kane chokeslammed Undertaker through his mom's casket. <laughs> <laughs> like Stone Cold stunned Linda. Yeah. Taker did crucify Stephanie at one point, too. Yeah. I mean, nobody wants the attitude her back. Just but we digress. <laughs> yeah. But that is, uh, that's, uh, for, for my money, that's, that, I mean, that's one of my favorite moments of all time in pro wrestling. I wasn't watching WWF at the time. I was watching WCW. He was watching a squash match on WCW. Right. I was I was watching uh, Blitzkrieg versus uh, Psychosis. <laughs> oh, Jesus <laughs> On Christ. WCW. But that is... Uh, that's, that's, there's no pop bigger than that. It, uh, you could argue it, but the I way it's, the know. way it, it was set up, it was perfect where you had opposite factions on both sides of the ring. You had the underdog in Mankind. You had the uh, hated heel in The Rock. It's a perfect storm. This man stirring the drink. Austin comes out. So if you haven't watched that in a little while, uh, I would recommend watching it. We would recommend watching it. It was January 4th, 1999. If you don't have the network, uh, DM like J me. Bell. He'll give you the uh, he'll give you his password. I think it's I J- don't even know. I think I'm... it's J Bell 420 <laughs> 69 420. 69 420. Yeah. Thanks for watching along. This has been Bam from Ringside Bang Down. I have no idea what I'm doing here, but you should hit the subscribe button because Banned from Ringside is good. <laughs> <laughs> Ditch that nine to five time feeling like.